There's one more type of transformation that we have to look at, but before we look at that, which is our next lesson, we have to talk about these things called similar figures. And similar figures are figures that have the same shape, but not necessarily the same size. And so you can see in this picture below, these two shapes have the same shape, but this one is bigger than uh, the one on the left. When two figures are similar, corresponding side lengths are proportional and corresponding angles are congruent. So while the sides aren't necessarily the same size, the angles are. And remember we talked about making the arcs to represent that the angles are the same. You can see that while the lengths of this red line and this red line are different, if you got a ruler you would clearly see that or you can visually see that they're not the same, the angle markings are telling you that those angles are actually equivalent. And there's this a symbol for similar, which um, is down below in a second. I'll point out where it is. But the symbol for similar is just the squiggle. Now, you might recognize that as the top portion of the congruent sign. Remember, congruent is an equal sign with a squiggle on the top. Equals is obviously equals. Congruent has equals with a squiggle. And the squiggle by itself just means similar. And remember, similar means same shape, different size. All right, let's check out an example. Which two rectangles are similar? Now, if they're all rectangles, um, then they have 90 degree angles, so the angles are the same. We just want to figure out which rectangles have proportional side lengths. And remember, proportional is when you create two equal ratios. So let's do A and B. Is 3 over 6 equivalent to 2 over 6? Is this proportion correct? And the answer is no. So A is not similar to B. Um, let's try, I don't know, what do you want to try? Let's do A and C. So this proportion... Is not, they're not similar. Let's try A to C. So is 3 over 6 equal to 2 over 4? And the answer is yes, that is true. So the answer is rectangles A and C. We're looking for that proportion. Speaking of proportion, when you're trying to figure out what measurements a shape has, if you know that they're similar, then you can create a portion, a proportion and solve, just like you did last year in seventh grade. So when you're doing your proportion, you want to find your matching sides. So you just pick any random side on one of the shapes, and I randomly pick six, so I'll write that down. And you want to match it up with its corresponding part. Now, which measurement over in the other shape is in the same position as the 6. And the answer is this 9. So 6 matches with 9 the same way that the 8 matches with the X. You see that they're in the same position. 6 matches 9 just like 8 matches X. And you have to go in the same direction. You can't do 6 over 9 equals x over 8. That's going one way this way and the other going this way. So you have to be the same order. And we'll do more of these in class if you're not sure what I'm talking about. So now you should have this uncontrollable desire right now to do your cross multiplication. So 6x equals 72. Divide by 6. x must be equal to... 12 meters. Okay, so here's another example. We've got this um, mur mural, um, and these trapezoids right here have a certain length, and they're drawing a replica, a smaller version of this mural, and they want to make sure that it looks identical, only smaller. Um, and in order to do that, everything has to be proportional. The way that you make things look the same is you make them proportional. 
So the original is 15 inches by 12 inches. And then we've got this replica, the little version, and it's 3.75 inches tall. And we have to figure out how wide it will be since the original is 12 inches. So we're going to do just like we did in the other example, make a proportion, and we're going to match up our sides. It doesn't matter which you start with. I'll just randomly start with the 15, and I'll go in this direction. Once you pick your direction, you have to stick with it the whole time. So 15 matches 3.75. The same way that 12 matches the H. So you've got this uncontrollable desire to cross multiply and you get 15 H equals 45 divide both sides by 15 H equals 3 inches. If you have any questions write them down and ask me when you come to class.